this March, I graduated from London Business School. It was a life-changing experience. When I say so, I will say, oh, great. So did you get an MBA? And I say, not really. <laughs> and oh, I guess you got executive MBA, right? And I say, not really. I finished the Sloan program. Super. So, what is the Sloan program? <laughs> Sloan program, named after Alfred Sloan of General Motors, is a unique one year program for senior managers and executives. But imagine a lecture or a group work with all executives and senior managers <laughs> from 23 nationalities in midlife crisis. <laughs> Everyone tried to, you know, stand out and speak a lot and assign works to others. <laughs> yeah. uh, I guarantee it is a total chaos. So, we branded ourselves as an octopus. It's evil, curious, and diverse. But the good thing is that we can learn a lot from one another because our experiences are so diverse. For example, we had a class named Biography, where, like this, and this, and we share the personal lives with our classmates. So uh, it's a kind of a remedy for speakers, and it's kind of a learning experience for the audiences. So let me show you one example of a Japanese engineer in our class. After Japan went through a miserable war and a miracle success in Olympic Games, he was born. <laughs> Japan dreamt of being number one after rapid growth in industry and urbanization. And so many economical housings are built around Japan. And the boy ra was raised in such housings. He loved music, dancing, and computer. He was an entertainer. He copied Michael Jackson's thriller, <laughs> and he was also smart. So everyone said, said him he could go to the University of Tokyo, or Todai in Japanese. Todai is the top elite school, so getting into Todai meant that you got the ticket to success. But happy childhood did not last long. His junior high was like a jail or a military school, and a lot of delinquency, bullying, and punishment. The first day, he, he, the first day, he was surprised to find yakuza's or Japanese mafia at school, uh, you know, with uh, bamboo sword on his shoulder. But actually, there were teachers. <laughs> 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 they did not seem to educate the student, but um, discipline them and a lot of conformity forced him to act like others, and he was not an entertainer anymore. But his high school was like a paradise. It was open, uh, full of freedom, and even in graduation ceremony, their costumes were bondages and wedding dresses. <laughs> and after competitive ex examination, 
he successfully enrolled in Todai. And a mom must be strong, and a mom must be smart. And he was awarded as an, the Minister of Education Awards. And during his PhD course, he made a system like a holodeck in Star Trek and won academic prizes and joined the biggest company in Japan and kept succeeding and headed to London and to launch his technology in 2020 games. So, what can be learned from his story? It is hard, it is difficult to f learn something from this straightforward story. In biography class, we, we have learned that we have destiny and drama in our life. Yes, his life has destiny, but no drama, his own choices. But actually, he had a drama side of his life. So, let's see another story. Be sorry. One day, he realized that he was not an ordinary boy. His true star was not Michael Jackson, but Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> In his junior high, all the boys were forced to shave their heads, but he was so smart, but he could not find any right reason why he had to shave his head just because he is a boy. So, he felt like he's a G.I. Jane. <laughs> and high school was a paradise, not, be, not only because it's free, but he found a beautiful boy in his class. <laughs> and after successfully enrolled in Todai, he tried to be a successful man to hide his female persona deep inside. But his soul began to scream. He wanted to change his gender and take an alternative path. But his logical mind said himself, do not go. In Japanese society, being transgenders meant that they have no choice but being showgirls or comedians. Their special does not exist in our daily life, only found in TV shows or on stage. Also, based on a lifetime employment system in Japan, once drop out, then you will lose your entire life. So he was worried. There is one steady and successful load as a research engineer, but Another path is invisible and unpredictable. He was afraid. I might lose my job. I might lose my friends. And I might be an ugly and stupid monster from the eyes of ordinary people. But After a long and deep thought, 
he changed his way of thinking. There is no way in front of me. There is a, just a way behind me as a result of a decision. And as a scientist, he knew it's not just the way of thinking. In a certain equation, such as used in uh, weather forecasting, the result is very sensitive, sensitive to initial conditions. It's known as butterfly effect in uh, chaos theory. Only a flap of butterfly's wings in Brazil could cause a tornado in Texas. He thought that, oh, it's like life. Only a subtle choice could cause a big difference in life. Decision first, then the path appears. Then she started her life. But she is practical, so switching gender is not so easy. So her choice was to live a double life. She, she works as a man in the daytime and spent her time at night. Soon she noticed that Japanese society has two sides. On the B side, people are more flexible and easygoing and she learned how to laugh, how to dance, and how to enjoy her life. He, she realized that she was obsessed with her own biases. She was afraid of losing her friends, but actually, she found the best friend. And she started her social activities. She advocated that LGBT people are normal, uh, are not special, but ordinary. Japanese former society has to change the perception because in our subcultures, we have a good sense of respect and acceptance for LGBT people, such as kabuki and takarazuka. Now, her days of octopus started in London. <laughs> she changed everything. She changed where to live, what language to speak, what to learn, and she literally tried to step out of her comfort zone, but it was impossible because it was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and she enjoyed every situation, and finally, she met her lifelong star, Bojosh, <laughs> and her transition story inspired her classmates, and she was elected as an impact award from his, her classmates. She was proud of this prize more than PhD from <laughs> Todai, because going to Todai is her parents' expectation, but going to LBS and influence people is her own choice. This is his, her, and my personal story. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, each of us have our own destiny, but 
invisible and intangible path appears once we made a decision. If you feel the another path which you desire to take, and even if nobody can see it, believe yourself and make a decision. Take the B train. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.